An ankle fusion is illustrated here through an anterolateral approach. The skin incision, which is centred at the ankle joint, runs parallel to the fourth metatarsal distally and runs between the tibia and the fibula proximally. The superficial perineal nerve lies directly beneath the skin and crosses the surgical approach at ankle level. The proximal part of the incision is identified, mobilized and retracted medially. In the anterior compartment, the tendons are retracted in order to access the ankle joint. A transverse arthrotomy is performed that allows mobilization of both the capsule and the extensor digitorum brevis muscle in a single flap. The anterior tibiofibular ligament is resected and the ankle joint is released with a large periosteal elevator. Percutaneous Achilles tendon lengthening is performed to help mobilize the ankle and achieve equinus correction. Threaded 3.2 mm pins are positioned in the talus and tibia on the lateral part of the wound to help distract and prepare the joint. Joint preparation is performed and special attention is given to preserve as much bone as possible. Cartilage is removed with a chisel and a high-speed burr. Lateral talus tubercle is resected to prevent impinging with the distal fibula. The fibular cartilage and tibial cartilage are finally resected. The subchondral plates are drilled or scaled to achieve bleeding surfaces. The distractor is removed and replaced with a hinged compressor while positioning the foot perpendicular to the leg. Medial compression is obtained with large reduction forceps positioned on the talus neck and dorsal to the medial malleolus. The joint is stabilised with one or two 1.5mm K wires. The anterior perilog plate is positioned and room is made to access the plate proximally with respect to the branches of the superficial perineural nerve. The plate is stabilised with a provisional 2.7mm fixation pin. Three point five millimeter lag screws are positioned on either aspect of the ankle depending on the pre op deformity. If it is a varus equinus deformity, as in this case, the anterolateral screws are positioned first.
K wire and threaded pins are removed. The posteromedial screw is placed secondarily, targeting the lateral neck of the talus where the left index finger has been placed. Screws are then locked into place through the perilock plate from distal to proximal. Talofibular reduction is increased with removal of some bone from the syndesmosis and the help of a large reduction clamp. Two to three transverse 3.5mm screws complete the fixation construct.